okay a lot of you may seen the how much the bike cost video so i'll be explaining why it is expensive and why it is too much for the e-bike and there are a lot of e-bikes that are cheap around 15,000 pesos so what are those bikes and how do they differ on this mountain bike converted kit so number one uh, those are materials used are steels so they rust this one is considering aluminum and premium bike parts so it is a very good build already and it can last and the components that i'm installing are not one of the cheapest but they are perform well especially in an e-bike because your bike when during conversion the motor and the battery adds some stress on your frame so those metallic frame are very heavy well this one is around 20 kilograms after installation of the conversion kit and the motor okay so that's the difference number one number two is they are using lead acid battery this one is a lithium ion battery a premium lithium ion battery this one lasts for a couple of years you just need to take care of it you just need to follow the battery specifications and charging time especially when you need slow charging and this one so battery has the biggest price difference on them and the motor itself is this is a mid-drive motor so it is pulling the transmission those bikes are hub motors so they are dependent on the hub and they are also very difficult to maintain this one if the motor is not problematic most of the time the transmission it will be having the problem so it is replaceable the chains and something for that you need to replace the whole motor if the motor is broke and yep that's the difference those are the three difference for a around 70,000 bike comparing to a 15,000 electric bike or e-trike yep and you can see the that the lights i didn't install any lights to conserve battery because i'm not using this or i'm just going to install another flashlight during night ride to conserve the batteries so those electric bikes are installing the lights itself so they are consuming all the power on the lead acid batteries that's why it is very stressful for the batteries and it won't last any longer this one has a good range especially the battery is around 50 kilometers but those one are limited because it's heavy heavy on the chassis and heavy the bike itself that's why it is limited in range and the battery itself is not that good quality the lead acid battery which requires a lot of maintenance and you need to keep it in a single charge this one is a deep cycle battery so you can reach it ar around 30 percent during or deplete it just don't ever use deplete the battery okay so that's the biggest difference between a cheap electric bike and the premium converted electric bike okay and also comparing this to the high end those high end the specialized the uh, uh, giant e-bikes that are pre-built uh, those are cost around 200,000 pesos so those bikes because since they are the frame are integrated on the motor it is difficult and it's that's why it's cost a lot 
comparing to this. This is a converted, so the motor is standard mount. That's why it's very easy to maintain. Comparing to, to the Specialized and the giant e-bikes that are proprietary parts. So if some broken, something's broken on that bike, then you need to purchase it from the manufacturer. This one, uh, Bafang also offers a lot of spare parts for their mid-drive motors. Okay, so yep, that's basically the best part is the maintenance aside the maintenance you need also to be a bike mechanic to maintain a electric bike decent okay so that's it